Hello and welcome to Enter Climate. My name is Shalin and today we will understand through this video how one can start an export business involving clean, spent, precious metal bearing catalyst. Let's start by understanding how the export of spent catalyst is a profitable business option. A catalyst containing precious metals from the platinum group are most commonly used as pollution control devices in vehicles. Let's start by understanding how the export of spent catalyst is a profitable business option. A catalytic converter contains precious metal from the platinum group. They are most commonly used as pollution control devices in vehicles, but they also find application in many industries. They contain precious metals and rare metals from the platinum group and the recovery through the catalytic converter is a difficult but highly profitable task. Also, the export of such waste is permitted under the hazardous waste management rules of 2016. So, catalysts are used for various purposes but find the major application in industries such as oil refining, catalytic reforming, isomerization and hydrocracking. Also, in producing specialty chemicals like vinyl acetate monomer, purified terephthalic acid and in catalytic converters of automobiles, such catalytic converters are used. Many chemicals and petrochemical manufacturers also used fixed bed reaction catalysts to facilitate the hydrogenation of various intermediates. As catalysts are used in automobile catalytic converters to eliminate pollutants from exhaust like volatile organic compounds, typically employed catalysts use platinum group metals such as platinum and palladium. But other precious metals like ruthenium, iridium and rhodium as well as gold and silver are also being used. So beside their valuable content of precious metals, spent catalysts also contain other metals like lead, tin, nickel, cobalt, etc. and they are used as promoters. All these metals are coated on various carriers such as alumina, zinc, zeolites and carbon that need to be separated while refining for precious metals. Other precious metals containing substances from such facilities include filter cakes, papers, clothes, polishing filters, floor sweepings, protective clothing, etc. Now, to understand the export business of spent catalyst, the process of precious metal refining also needs to be understood. There is an acute shortage of state-of-the-art facilities that can fully extract platinum group metals from the catalyst. So, it is a common trend where exporters in India send these used catalysts to other countries where such extraction is both feasible and cheap. Once the catalysts are used up, they are removed from the equipment and cleaned. This waste catalyst is considered spent. As platinum group metals are non-reactive in nature and present in a dispersed form on the catalyst surface, their extraction is a bit complicated and needs a series of chemical reactions for extraction and purification. Although the quantity of these metals on the catalyst surface is low, the value of these metals makes recycling a profitable venture, which in turn makes export profitable too. Recycling also helps the manufacturers as they source these metals from recyclers rather than using fresh metal. The global recovery of platinum from the spent catalyst is about 35%. The step involved in the recovery process are the individual preparation, individual sampling, analysis, treatment and precious metal refining. Now let's come to the central part of this video that is how you can obtain permission for export of this item. So the applicants will have to apply in form 5 of the hazardous waste management rules along with the insurance cover to the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Details like the name, contact address and facility address must also be provided. Subsequently, the reason for export the quantity of waste to be exported and the basal number associated with the waste must also be provided in the application. In the case of spent metal catalyst, this number is B1130. So the waste that is to be exported must be fully insured for transit and any accident and therefore its cleanup operation. Lastly, a declaration indicating that the importer will be liable to bear the cost of export and mitigation of damages if any and the exported waste will be taken back if not accepted to the importer has to be signed. The ministry also scrutinizes the documents and declaration made related to the reasons for export, waste composition, insurance policy and agreements between the buyer and the seller. If the authority is convinced that neither country has any issue 
in importing and exporting the item, the permission will be granted. The ministry will issue the consent letter within 60 days from the submission date of the completed application. Copies of permission will also be sent to the SPCBs concerned and to the custom authorities. The ministry may also impose additional conditions as it may deem necessary for the safe transit. Let's now see the documents that will be required for obtaining this permission. So apart from submitting Form 5 of the hazardous waste rules, other documents like the justification for export, authorization for recycling under hazardous waste rules, the composition analysis and the test reports of the waste from an EPA recognized lab, insurance policy covering liability to the health and environment during the transit, acknowledgement of receipt of a copy of application from the concerned SPCB, documents depicting the status of employment generation, indicating the number of people who will be benefited, copy of the agreement between the buyer and the seller, copy of the previous permission issued by the ministry. Okay, so at last, let's analyze the scope of this business by looking at the market trend related to the export of spent catalyst. The market size of the recycling business involving spent catalyst is forecasted to reach $12.1 billion by 2026, growing at a CGAR of 5.9% from 2021 to 2026. This demand will result from a huge amount of discarded catalysts coming from the rapidly growing automobile market and the stringent emission norms imposed by countries. Such trend will drive the demand for catalyst and precious metal from manufacturing. The waste or scrap containing precious metals like catalytic converters are exported from India to countries like United Arab Emirates, Japan, Belgium, Korea and the Philippines. The combined export value from India to these countries stand at 408 million US dollars. Furthermore, the accelerating demand for high performance fuel for transport and the growing investment in refineries are the major factors which drive the precious metal bearing catalyst export from India. So that's all for this video. For more information about this business, contact Enterclimate from the details provided. Our team can assist you with all formalities to start a export business in this segment. We provide a one-stop support for all your export related procedures as well as the legal and procedural requirements for setting up a business. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.